in the middle of the Sahara Desert, one of the driest places on Earth, which is actually absolutely boring, researchers found a shocking truth that could fundamentally change the fate of the world. What we're showing you today is probably one of the most jaw-dropping discoveries scientists have made in decades and completely turns many people's understanding of geology upside down. So, if you want to know what stunning future could await us and why the Sahara Desert thousands of years ago was exactly the opposite of what it is today, be sure to stay tuned here at Wonderlane. Before we get to the shocking discovery that scientists recently made in the Sahara, let's briefly review why the Sahara is one of the most geographically important places in the world and specifically why it holds so many secrets. At over 9 million square kilometers, the Sahara is the largest desert in the world. In simple terms, this means that you could pack an entire area of Europe into the Sahara 26 times and you still wouldn't have reached its total area. In total, it stretches across 10 African states including Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, and Sudan. But most parts of this huge desert are absolutely unexplored so far, because the massive heat and the threat of disorientation make it extremely dangerous even for experienced scientists to explore this area. And even though the Sahara is one of the largest uniform areas in the world, it has very little use for the bordering countries. Since it is an arid desert and consists only of sand and rock on the surface, it can hardly be used for agriculture or farming, which would actually be very good for the comparatively poor region in northern and central Africa. This fact is particularly tragic when one considers what the Sahara looked like many thousands of years ago and what huge potential it offered at that time. As it has now been revealed in a sensational way, many scientists assume that the Sahara was exactly the opposite of today's sandy landscape more than 200,000 years ago. Before the last Great Ice Age, which began about 115,000 years ago and ended about 11,700 years ago, there was most likely a sea in place of today's Sahara. Due to the change in Earth's axis position, which lasted for thousands of years, this sea disappeared after the Ice Age and left behind a flourishing savanna landscape, which was bursting with fertility and biodiversity. Where today there are boulders, dry dust, and nothing else but sand, there was then a landscape of rivers, oases, plants, and numerous wild animals that made the Sahara perhaps the most vibrant and exciting stretch of land in the world. Although the region was repeatedly affected by climatic and vegetation, vegetative changes in the following millennia, overall it was one of the best areas in which people could live at the time. In the meantime, it has been proven on the basis of some cave paintings that as early as 10,000 BC, the first hunter-gatherers stayed in the fertile Sahara and practiced a flourishing agriculture there. They engaged in fishing, promoted agriculture, and in time even managed numerous livestock. However, this life changed abruptly 6,000 years ago when an incredible event occurred that turned the Sahara into the desolate area we know today. To understand this, we need to take a quick look at the astronomy. Since the Earth does not fly exactly vertically through our solar system, but is tilted by a few degrees, there are some regions that are closer to the Sun than others for most of the time. Until the year 4000 BC, the Earth was tilted to one side at approximately 24.1 degrees. This changed over time to a current angle of 23.5 degrees, which brought massive changes to the entire Sahara region. Now, exactly that strip of land was the closest to the sun, which until then had been extremely planted and alive. Due to the permanent heat, the Sahara dried out bit by bit, which not only resulted in the disappearance of almost all inhabitants, but also in the disappearance of almost all living creatures and plants. About 3,000 years before Christ, the time had come and almost the entire Sahara was uninhabitable for humans and animals, whereby the desert landscape developed that we know today. Since man withdrew completely from the area for centuries, it was also impossible to keep individual parts of the desert artificially alive and the once so fertile area became probably the loneliest and most desolate stretch of land on the entire planet. Despite all this, the Sahara, of all places, has in recent years become the focus of extremely exciting discoveries that have occupied all scientists around the world. Recently, in the Algerian part of the desert, an object was found that made even the most experienced and best scientists look twice. Namely, a meteorite splinter which is presumably more than 4.5 billion years old. What may look unspectacular at first glance turns out to be a geological sensation at second glance. 
because actually the Earth as we know it did not exist before 4.5 billion years. At that time, according to current research, it was probably still in the middle of its formation phase and was composed of various gases that solidified over time. The fact that this stone was found in the Sahara therefore shows that at the time, probably a very large meteorite collided with the developing Earth and found its place on our planet until today. In addition to the meteorites that researchers have found in the Sahara, there is another mystery that has baffled scientists to this day. While many are probably familiar with the fabled stone formations of Stonehenge in Britain, there is actually a similar formation in the Moroccan part of the Sahara that is even more spectacular. Similar to Stonehenge, no one can really say how these gigantic stones could be arranged in such a way and whether it is a natural coincidence or hard human work. These stone formations which were discovered more than 1,000 years ago are so fascinating that they fascinate numerous scientists. Among other things, there are gigantic stones standing upright, stacked boulders or formations that could be modeled after a large gate. This phenomenon remains one of the strangest mysteries in the world, as it was actually impossible for man from over 1,000 years ago to move such heavy stones. Nevertheless, these formations exist and ensure that the Sahara remains extremely exciting for numerous researchers from all over the world. Probably the most extraordinary theory that has emerged around the Sahara in recent years is related to the finding from the beginning of the video, namely that the Sahara was once perhaps the most fertile region in the world. When this finding came to light, researchers began to wonder whether such fertility in the world's largest desert might not be possible again. And indeed, as they continued their research, they discovered layers of earth deep beneath the Sahara's sand and rubble surface that are actually a good prerequisite for nourishing soil and a living diversity of species. The idea that the largest arid region on Earth will one day once again become a planted savanna is not completely out of the question. This change is likely to fundamentally alter the world's climate and the way the planet looks, providing a diversity of living things that we can't really imagine in the current climate change times. While we may not live to see this change because, if it occurs, it will be many centuries or even millennia away, one day the Sahara could once again be just the opposite of its current arid and desolate landscape. By the way, if you liked this video, check out this video from us about one of the most extreme deserts in the world where people actually live. Otherwise, write us your opinions about the Sahara in the comments. Like and subscribe for more videos like this, and until next time, here at Wonderlane.